Wild, we buddy. Oh, wild. That was awesome. That was awesome. Sometimes, a bird so rare gets reported that you need to drop everything in order to make an effort to go see it. This was the case when a field fair, a Eurasian thrush species, showed up in Wisconsin, which was the first confirmed state record and second confirmed record in the Great Lakes region. Even though the bird wasn't seen after 9 a.m. the day before, with the magnitude of this rarity, some friends and I decided to make the nearly six-hour drive to the northwest corner of the state to try and find it. I left around midnight to pick up my friend Nathaniel. After that, we would meet up with our friends Bill and Rob along the way, hopefully getting to the park where the bird was last seen by sunrise. Hey everyone, it's Derek from Badgerland Birding. I am picking up my friend Nathaniel and we're going to our friend Bill's house. Then we're going to pick up a couple other people to go look for a European bird called a field fair that showed up like six hours away in Wisconsin. So it'd be a crazy find. It was only seen in the morning yesterday. It was kind of a gamble to take all this time and leave really late. Uh, but we got a great crew, so hopefully we can find it. It'd be an epic find if we're able to do it. So let's see if we can do this. During the drive, the anticipation started to build over the possibility we might see this rare Eurasian species. We're just about to pick up Rob, making a quick gas station stop. Nathaniel's passed out in the back. So, probably not getting any sleep tonight. I'm getting kind of excited about the possibility of seeing this field fair. It'll be really neat. Hopefully it's worth all the driving. Although the possibility of seeing the bird was exciting, we tried not to get our hopes up too much and realized that this may be like looking for a flying needle in a haystack of open habitat. Billy, how we feeling? We feeling confident? Mm, not really. No. I'm hopeful. What percentage chance do you think we have to see it? 10. 10? 10%. 10 percent. Rob, what percentage chance do you think? I would say I'm going to go with 7.2. What's the annual percent? What percentage chance do you think we have to see this thing? Uh, 5. 5? Five? So we got 10, 5, and what was it? 7.2. 7 point, 7 point Stop to this quick trip. Quick trip, please sponsor us. Uh, but one of the really nice gas stations out here. I think the tiredness is hitting our crew pretty hard. Um, we got another hour or so left, but it's just that early morning, you know, staying up most of the night, um, staying up all night. You can tell by my breath, it's a little colder up north. Normally we get a little more snow. There's definitely more snow than down south. But yeah, once that sun comes up, that'll perk us up a bit, but it's a little tough. That chill in the air, it's got me going a little more. As the sunrise started to create some beautiful color and the night turned to day, we finally made it to Prentice Park, the last known location of the field fair. We just got to the location. There's a couple other birders here. It seems pretty expansive. Um, it's chilly, there's a lot of cover. We are here in a blue jay and apparently earlier was with a blue jay flock. So I think we'll try to track that down. Happy to be able to stretch out our legs, we picked out a few animal species more common in the north, including a red squirrel, a female purple finch, and some blue jays. Suddenly, Bill shouted out that he thought he saw the field fair in the glow of the treetops near some other birds. After zooming in on it, we confirmed that it was in fact the field fair, and celebration ensued. We have it. Come back, just flew. Just flew. Just flew. Just flew. Let's go, buddy. That's awesome. Let's go. I keep telling you. That's awesome. Let's Feel do fair. it. Let's, Let's go. go. Nice. We gotta lifer. redo the fist bumps in the video. I keep telling myself I'm not gonna get another life for in Wisconsin, <laughs> and look what happens. I need to do that more often. We're Wild, really buddy. Yeah. Wild. That was awesome. That was awesome. I cannot believe that we found that bird. That was ridiculous. Bill got super excited. She's like, "What's that? What's that?" We looked and we were like, oh, it's a blue jay. And then it was like, no, further back. And then like we got it pinpointed and that was it. And it was hung out for just a little bit and then it moved over. And so now there's other people trying to relocate it or trying to get better views, but it's still around. That was amazing. The field fair is a Eurasian thrush species with a gray head, rufous upper wings, and white underwings with a dark speckled chest that is white and orange. They are named after the Anglo-Saxon word Fieldware, meaning traveler of the fields. 
during the winter. These birds form large flocks numbering from a few birds to hundreds of individuals, which move about through the European countryside. Field fares can sometimes stray into North America, normally in Canada and the northeastern United States, and their lifestyle can be nomadic, staying in an area only until food resources are depleted and then moving on. They feed mostly on small invertebrates, fruits, and berries. After all the excitement, more people showed up, and an effort to relocate the bird ensued. While looking, there was a variety of other interesting species to see, including American goldfinches, morning doves, and a few pine siskin that sat up nicely. After a while, the field fair was refound in a tree quite a ways away, and everyone on site got good but distant views. With a nice field fair experience under our belts, we decided to head south to the middle of the state in order to look for a rare glaucus winged gull. On the way, we still had trouble believing just how well our six hour gamble had turned out. Oh man, it was good. It's gonna gone a lot of different ways. Really depressing ride. Yeah, this is this is this worked out the best way it possibly could have. Yes. I'm so happy that we saw that. Before we got too far. Rob pointed out a unique northern species that we had to make a stop for. So Rob just called out that he saw some waxwings, so we're stopping because Nathaniel needs bohemian waxwing for a lifer. Thanks to Rob's high speed sighting, we were able to get Nathaniel his lifer bohemian waxwings. Bohemian waxwings are similar to cedar waxwings with some subtle differences, such as a larger size and a peach undertail. We got them, boys. Nice. Nice spot, Rob. Thanks. I like it. People helping Here, people. people. Get lifers. Get a lifer. <laughs> After appreciating these birds, we dropped Rob off and arrived at the Prairie du Sac Dam where the glaucous wing gull was being seen. After spending some time picking through the gulls, it unfortunately didn't seem like the bird was present, at least not in the area that we searched. However, Fortunately for us, another rare bird was reported only eight minutes away, a Eurasian tree sparrow, which was pretty much in the exact place it was previously reported, and was a lifer for Nathaniel. Got him, little last minute lifer action. Awesome. After enjoying our time with the sparrow, we decided to head out and finish out the last few hours of our drive back home. So we were not able to get the glaucous wing gall, but we did swing by and find a Eurasian tree sparrow that was uh, reported by somebody else, which was a lifer for this guy in the back seat, who has his third lifer of the day now. Let's see how he's feeling. What a day, buddy. It's a good day. Rare that you get three lifers in a day anymore, but it's cool. Three good ones, too. Very good ones. What was your favorite? The filter. Yeah. What was your favorite, Bill? I think I really like the field fair. <laughs> it would have been nice if it wouldn't have uh, made it, us wait as long as it did, but <laughs> it was really nice. I'm gonna have to go with the field fair as well. Definitely the top bird of the day. It was really fun getting out, seeing all these rarities. That glaucous wing gall sticks, maybe it will come back a different day for that, but really fun and really glad we got that field fair. After enjoying our time with the Sparrow, we decided to head out and finish out the last few hours of our drive back home. All in all, it was an exhausting but exhilarating day being able to see the field fair, as well as some other cool species in the state. Thankfully, the risk was worth the reward for us, and it's nice when everything comes together to make for a great trip with some great friends. Have you ever made a long road trip just to see a bird? How did it go? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.